So here's my rear swing arm. I had to take off my rear caliper brake unit due to the fact that when you place the hub motor in between the swing arm, it will not fit and the caliper itself actually bumps up into the hub motor. And if you can tell here, I created parallel lines that go from this edge to this slot because the slot is going to have to be cut since the shaft of the hub motor is installed and into the hub motor and you can't actually take it out so i'm going to actually cut this out with a dremel i uh, engraved it here on the front face here on the inner wall as well and then if you can tell on the other side too so i'm going to show you guys what the hub motor looks like in between the swing arm so this is what it will look like from the side view and then on the other side here um this is going to be fitting in between the swing arm this is where the uh, attachment of my brake unit sat and it just hit up against this hub motor so i didn't have any enough clearance for it but thankfully i'll have regenerative braking so i'll have a disc brake in the front and then this motor for regenerative braking in the back the motor actually came with some hardware some lock washers this uh plate that you will eventually end up fitting onto the shaft and then you'll bolt a screw through the swing arm itself into this plate so the hub motor itself will not fly right off your swing arm and some nuts so this actually came with the hub motor i didn't have to find these i didn't have to find this hardware myself so that was nice and then inside these swing arm before uh when the rear tire was assembled these used to fit through here and i'm thinking i'm going to be doing the same thing but with a, a different design setup just so that when i screw these nuts and washers onto my rear swing arm that i don't collapse this tube so there's going to be some sort of internal structural support for the rear swing arm to uh, be structurally sound. And that's including both ends, both sides. So that that's it.